Thank you very much, Chairman. Ms. Uh, good morning to you, Ranking Member Scalise, members of the subcommittee. I'm very pleased to be here today to talk about our first uh, comprehensive assessment of the set of legislation that the Congress swiftly passed and the administration has been working hard to implement. We determined that the first two months after the legislation was passed, uh, there was $1.2 trillion of assistance provided in the form of almost $700 billion in direct spending and over $500 billion in loan guarantees. Now, this assistance was accompanied by a lot of dedication and agility by various segments of our society. We had heroic efforts made by our healthcare workers across the country. There were significant efforts put forward by the federal workforce to implement this legislation. State and local governments and others made valuable contributions and continue to do so. Now, with regard to the federal agencies, uh, they gave a high priority uh, given the urgency of the health care needs and the severe economic downturn to move swiftly to allocate the funds, as we point out in our report. And there were trade-offs that were made. And our report's designed to help them make some mid-course corrections with regard to those trade-offs. But as a consequence, We've made good progress in distributing the money, but only limited progress in ensuring and meeting the transparency and accountability goals. Now, our report provides a very comprehensive assessment across the entire federal government. Uh, and, but uh, this morning, my opening comments, I'll just focus on those areas that I think you know, our initial recommendations for improvement focus on. First is the PPP program. I, I agree. Uh, that they made swift allocations, standing up a nationwide program and distributing the money. Uh, but uh, there were some issues that I think uh, need to be attended to very quickly. And so our recommendation, there was a lot of confusion with the program. Uh, it was, uh, you know, implemented uh, with a stream of uh, frequently asked questions and guidance. And so there's some con confusion that still remains with the program. But you know, all being said, they need an oversight plan to ensure that the funds are safeguarded. There's already some indications of fraud in the program. Uh, I'm pleased to report that Administrator Carranza called me last night, uh, agreed that they just give us the information that we needed uh, in order to go forward. So we're in the process of finalizing arrangements for that. I also offered to help them as they design their oversight and monitoring plans, and she accepted my agreement. On the unemployment insurance area, the states are struggling to implement the program because of antiquated systems, need for additional staffing. Uh, however, there's a potential problem uh, with overlap between unemployment benefits and employees who may have received aid under the Paycheck Protection Program that were not paying people twice. Uh, we recommend they give guidance. They agreed they're going to give guidance. At IRS, uh, the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration identified uh, 1.4 million payments of $1.4 billion of aid that was provided to deceased. Uh, we recommend IRS take more measures to get that money back. And they've done so. We also recommend that the Congress give Treasury the authority to have the master desk file from the Social Security Administration so they could prevent these payments from being made, not just here, but across the range of the federal government's activities. We also recommend that the Congress require the Department of Transportation to develop a national aviation uh, security plan for communicable diseases. We recommended this in 2015. So far, there's not a plan because of bureaucratic wrangling about who's responsible for developing it. I think Congress needs to give clear direction in this regard. The vessel in which this virus was spread around the world very quickly came through our air transportation system. We'll always be behind the curve unless we have a national aviation security plan that's coordinated and it with some international norms to protect safety in that area. Uh, so, Mr. Chairman, uh, 
As I conclude my statement, I want to assure this committee that we're going to continue to focus on this, to meet our statutory responsibilities, to report every two months. We also have about 40 audits underway now, dozens of others planned for specific areas. So we're pleased that you took time to focus on our report, and we look forward to working with the Congress and the administration to make sure that these programs are effectively and efficiently uh, implemented for the benefit of the American people and our economy. Thank you very much.